Hi, this is Ted with PackRatings.com. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, an everyday carry I'm, I'm starting to think about. I'll uh, go ahead and put the disclaimer out there. I haven't bought any of this stuff yet. I'm, I'm planning, so I'm trying to think things through and get feedback from people. Because um, you know how when you see uh, a lot of the uh, prepper videos, a lot of the uh, product review uh, channels, things like that. You know, the people, they are reviewing 12 knives and 5 backpacks and 15 sleeping bags. Well, uh, I'm not made of money, so I, I can't buy that much stuff. I have to really plan out what I'm doing and buy things once. And so that's what I'm doing here, is I'm planning and I'm sharing that plan to try and get good feedback. So I'm thinking about my everyday carry, uh, stuff that's going to go on my keychain, uh, maybe in my backpack uh, for work, uh, maybe uh, on my belt. has to be uh, very small, lightweight, and uh, useful in everyday context. So one thing I thought might go on a keychain is a uh, fire rod. Uh, so I've been looking at those. There's a number of good ones out there. Um, and then, of course, a watch. Uh, this is the uh, Timex one that's got a built-in compass. Uh, what I really like about this watch is the price. It's $70. I know Casio makes a watch that is not only a compass, but it has an altimeter, barometer, and a thermometer. Um, you know, and that, that watch is totally cool, but it's almost 200 bucks. So I'm kind of torn between the two because an altimeter is great if you're ever using topographical maps. Of course, uh, the Leatherman. I know a, a lot of people say the Leatherman wave is uh, too big, too uh, heavy, and uh, all the uh, uh, socket tips and everything else are uh, difficult to keep hold of, and in an everyday carry context, you tend to more often than not uh, leave it at home. So, you know, I might, I might consider going with the smaller Leatherman, uh, but I've heard such good things about the Wave. You know, I'm, I'm really thinking about it. I'm torn. Uh, you know, give me some feedback. You know, let me know what you think on that issue. Uh, this is the one item on this list I already do have is my phone. I put it in because it has weight and it has cost, but for most people, you probably already have a phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android or whatnot. Uh, but, you know, I thought I'd uh, put it in there for weight and cost considerations. Uh, this uh, Schrade uh, keychain tool just looks awesome. You know, I've seen it next to the Gerber one and a couple of the other uh, uh, brand keychain tools. And, you know, this one just you know, it really looks like it's the most substantial, uh, but yet still being a keychain uh, tool. This particular uh, item, the keychain uh, solar and hand crank flashlight, I'm on the fence about it. It looks kind of cheap, and uh, my worry is that it is kind of cheap, and, uh, you know, will it really last uh, a long time? So... You know, if you're familiar with the Solarific uh, keychain, I'd love to, to hear about it. I couldn't find any reviews of it anywhere. Um, or if you have something that's similar but you know is good, you know, let me know. Uh, this one, uh, Adam Savage from Mythbusters did an everyday carry check, and he talked about field notes. And I love the idea that it's really small, it's useful every day, it's engineering graph paper, um, it's cheap, they sell it in, in uh, three packs and, and better. Uh, you know, I just really like the idea of a notebook. I have a terrible memory, it's a great idea for, for me to always be taking notes wherever I'm at. Oh, and currently I do a lot of that on my cell phone. Um, but, you know, it, it just might make sense to have something I can leave a note, I can jot it down quickly without using battery. No, I'm just thinking. Because uh, I always write stuff down, especially when I take messages on the phone. I can't be typing it into my phone. 
Then, of course, a uh, small pen. Uh, this, again, came from Adam Savage on Mythbusters. Uh, it is a space pen, so it'll work in outer space and upside down and at extreme temperatures. Uh, but that's not why he uses it. He uses it because it's so small. You can put it in his pocket and forget it's there. I really like that notion. Then, of course, uh, I already carry uh, hand sanitizer with me everywhere. Uh, you know, I work in an office and there's at least 10 people who have colds in that office building every single day. Uh, so, yeah, I go a bit nuts on the Purell, but uh, uh, it's something I have to do because of my job. It has survival uses too, so there's uh, YouTube videos on other things you can do with hand sanitizer. Same thing with uh, lip balm. Uh, it's really cheap, really practical stuff. Of course, I uh, also keep uh, an S-beaner on my keychain. It's just really useful for hanging up my keys, attaching my keys to something. If I need an S-beaner for a ridge line or something, I have it, you know. Uh, it's just a good idea. I've also got, uh, it's not on this list, but I also have a figure nine that I keep in my backpack. It's, Figure nines are great for making really quick ridge lines. Um, it's a little too big for a keychain, uh, and that's why it ended up in my uh, backpack. Uh, but uh, it's another uh, option. So uh, let me know what you think. You know, I know I left out or overlooked uh, 10 different things, and there are probably 10 ways that this could be better, cheaper, safer, lighter. Uh, so let me know, you know, give me comments, help me out here before I spend money, uh, help me uh, uh, buy my uh, everyday carry once. Um, again, uh, my website is uh, packratings.com and all of these items and their links and everything uh, you can find on my site, I'll put the link below. I uh, hope you liked the video, I uh, hope you can uh, help me out with some good feedback and uh, check out my site. Uh, thanks a lot.